As Donald Trump emerged from the White House on Sunday, he was a president as defiant as ever in his position. Over $5 billion for a border wall or the government remains shut down. And then there's a possibility of even more extreme measures to get what he wants. I may declare a national emergency dependent on what's going to happen over the next few days. But I think we're going to have some very serious talks come Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We have to have border security. If we don't have border security, we're going to be crime ridden and it's going to get worse and worse. Negotiations over the weekend between the White House and staff members of key congressional Democrats yielded no agreement. Many parts of the government remain closed, 800,000 federal employees either furloughed or working without pay. If Trump declares a national emergency along the southern border, it would give him vast powers to do what he wants without congressional approval. But even if he does this, it's still unclear where he would find the money to build the border wall that he wants. Some have suggested it could come out of the budget of the Defense Department. But Democrats say that would be a mistake. And in this case, I think the president would be wide open to a court challenge saying, where's the emergency? Uh, you have to establish that in order to do this. But beyond that, this would be a terrible use of Department of Defense dollars. Republican strategist Bradley Blakeman says one of the main reasons Trump was elected was his promise to build a wall, so he can't back down. Uh, you know, a staring contest, who's going to blink first? And I think the president has the upper hand because he's made a fundamental promise. Democrats know it. In the campaign, he said, read my lips, in effect. Uh, we need border security, a wall. Uh, Republicans call it a wall. Democrats call it border security. It's the same thing. You're battling on words, semantics. So I think it's the question of who blinks first. That's the question. As the shutdown enters a third week, who will compromise? And most importantly, when? So that the government can finally reopen. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, Washington.